That's exactly what it's going to be. You've seen the headlines, you've heard the rumors, but we're here to break it all down. That's right, we're talking about Gervinte Tank Davis and that crazy Floyd Mayweather hospital video that's been making waves. Some people say it's real, some say it's fake, but Tank Davis ain't holding back, and we're here to spill all the tea. Gervonta Davis is calling BS. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. I'm not having to play. I just want to get a free time. Just a number. It makes it look like I did something for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. So, let's start with the basics. For those of you who've been living under a rock, Floyd Mayweather, a.k.a. Money Mayweather, recently posted a video from a hospital bed. Yeah, you heard that right. The undefeated champ, the man who's known for dodging punches and making millions, looked like he was down for the count. Now, this whole situation initially painted Gervonta Davis as the bad guy, but everything changed when Tank dropped a bombshell about what actually went down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean, 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. It ain't, he not gonna hurt me, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. It's a bad situation. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the incident in Dubai. Now, you can't miss out on what he said, because this changes everything. I got to Floyd before he got to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on whenever. I saw him at the port, and it was go time. He's all bark and no bite. Gervonta Davis was just trying to look out for himself. And one thing Floyd didn't look out for was that scary left hook by Tank that knocked him down. Looks like this Dubai vacation wasn't the peaceful getaway Floyd had in mind. I wonder what was faster, those cars or Gervonta Tank Davis left hand from hell when he landed it on Floyd's chin. We know these two always had a heated rivalry and Tank has always wanted to dance with Floyd in the ring. Everyone wants to see that showdown. Luckily for all the boxing fans, that mega fight will see the light of day sooner than you think, as Tank Davis himself hinted this matchup to take place this September. Yep, you heard that right. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Gervonta Davis's coach 
Calvin Ford gave his honest thoughts on the brawl that broke out in Dubai. Ford said what happened to Floyd was pure karma. Oh, he's firing shots too, and this beef is far from over. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see and what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to be built itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, they say the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is a, I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Now, Floyd being Floyd, tried to take control of the narrative claiming he's always been there for Tank, helping him every step of the way. He went on to say that it's always been Tank taking shots at him and disrespecting him. Floyd painted himself as the victim, insisting that he's only ever had Tank's best interests at heart. Now we all, that's nothing but a cap. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan. And my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful constantly be disrespectful when all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Well, that's funny. Floyd says he's been there for Tank. So what about the fact he tried to get him arrested? I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like helping to me. And it gets worse. Want to know why Floyd got Tank locked up behind bars? He got Tank thrown into jail because he found out Gervonta Davis was sneaking around with his ex. Yep, last time I checked, dating someone was not a crime. Floyd is as petty as they come. Floyd even joined forces with Tank's biggest enemy, Shakur Stevenson. Yep. Floyd and Shakur are putting in the work together in the gym. Now with those two in the same room, you just know they're plotting something against Tank. Now if you're wondering why Floyd has become anti-Tank all of a sudden, here's why. Gervonta Davis recently revealed that he's landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know Floyd's ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand by and let anyone outshine him in the industry. Set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's no. what I was thinking. Cause it's I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where I thought I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the, yeah, that's a part that's of deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that's exclusive, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. Adrian Broner gave his word to Tank, promising that if it ever comes down to a brawl again, he's got his back. That's right, Broner is ready to step in and support Tank if things get heated once more. I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we gotta go there, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets, and let's just say Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.